only unity we lack in this country is the rich uniting with the poor. And I keep saying it. I met my wife when I was living in a one room. Hi, Tim Kranah. How are you doing? What's the happening? What's in the sub? Welcome back to our channel. Okay, guys. Um, here we have Sunday Igboho. Um, remember in the previous video we talked about Sunday Igboho, and I said in that video, I remember saying that we got uh, because I got a report from a, a reliable source, right? And they said Sunday Igboho will appear in court yesterday, uh, but unfortunately that didn't happen. So they said today, Thursday is going to appear in court because they were everybody was even shocked that um he didn't appear in court yesterday but according to um his lawyer they said they would be in court on thursday it's going to happen in kotonu now contrary to the reports online or the report making the rounds that sunday boho was um you know arrested by kotonu after the nigerian government allotted them or something it has nothing to do with that first what happened first before the nigerian government started asking the um the kotonu government to um do something about sunday Boho or bring him back to nigeria before that sunday Boho was arrested because the benenoa the the security is there the kotonu security believed that this guy is traveling with fake passport so immediately the federal government heard that they reached out to you know the kotonu government now Igbo was arrested you know on monday night in the kotonu airport on his way to germany all efforts by President Buhari to extradite Udboho to Nigeria from Benin have proved abortive. More reports here. The Beninoa government said it won't handle a request for extradition without first trying him for the local offense he was arrested for. So that's what the, 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 the government they're saying, the Benin, the Benin government, they're saying, like, look, let us first try him for this one. We are not, uh, we're not going to assure you guys or give you assurance that we're going to send send him back to nigeria but guys i think it it might happen because you know kotonu or Benin republic they're scared of nigeria you know that right so it's they might you know listen to nigerian government and release this guy to nigerian government but a source confided in punch i'm gonna read this that the former chief of army staff wrote to the government of the small west west african country and insisted on the arrest and extradition of Igbohu. the top security source in Benin republic who spoke to that is um punch correspondent said that Buratai through the nigerian embassy in small west african country sent a secret letter to Benin government to be on the lookout for Igboho. The punch gathered that the letter was instrumental to the arrest of Igboho and his wife at the um, Soso airport in Kotonu, the largest city in French speaking country. <laughs> that is it let me know what you think about that in the comment section below now let's quickly talk about hush poppy and obi kubana we all know what happened at oba <laughs> except you're born today you should know <laughs> or you just sign up uh, you know social media today but yeah jokes apart i don't I can't confirm this, but this thing is trending. This audio is trending, and I don't know why, but I just felt like, okay, let me let me talk about it, but I'm not going to put it out like it's a confirmed report. It's not a confirmed report yet, but they said this Hush Puppy's voice, according to some reports, Hush Puppy's voice call why in cell. I don't know how they got through to him, but somehow, even listening to the voice sounds like Hush Puppy, but. I still can't verify that i still can't confirm that so guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section below but basically 
just let me quickly explain in case you don't know what is going on um actually they reach out to us probably because of the whole um razzmatazz on social media the whole attention of biko is getting and a lot of people are saying man if hush puppy was out this wouldn't have been possible because hush puppy has always been the king of money on social media the guy will flaunt money will flaunt the lifestyle and cash and all that so if he was still out you know people like Ubiku Bana wouldn't get that attention they are getting currently on social media let's listen to this Till on Obikubana. This is funny because some people are using Obikubana's name to make money. I'm not talking about shady means, right? <laughs> Here you can see somebody open a page, right? And they name it Obikubana. Now he sent somebody a message and said, it's got, <laughs> he's following like 13 people and he's got zero followers. I reach out to someone saying, hello, it's Obikubana and I'm about to change your life. My bank is having issues due to cash overload. I just need to recharge my phone so I can make some big transactions. Can I do a little 500 Naira Airtel for me? Or can you do a little 500 Naira Airtel for me? I promise to make money fly in your house. And the person left their number, Airtel, and said thanks. Obikubana, can you imagine with all that money, does it have 500 naira? Sometimes I wonder if this 49ers even think. Well, on a more serious note, right here, Obikubana's um, wife, I think she reacted to what you know she's been seeing on social media here, but she took a different route to deliver her message. She says here, if Grace is a person, it is Obina Iyebu. I'm still trying to figure out what happened last weekend, but all I can say is Grace. My brother, no be juju, no be crime. It's just Grace. The man is Grace personified. Don't get it twisted. Stop the hate and celebrate God's grace upon his chosen one. What you celebrate is what you attract. Like he said, work hard. Whom God has blessed. Um, okay. Um, notes, please don't believe everything you read on social media. That is the wife right there. But guys, we still have people, a lot of people reacting to this. And you still wonder, even after two weeks, people are still talking about it. Like almost two weeks, people are still talking about this thing before the event and after the event. Why? This, I think, I think they started spending money before the event, during the event, and after the event, the show of wealth was everywhere on social media. Focus, especially on Obi Kubana himself. So I wouldn't be surprised, you know, if anybody comes on social media to say, um, to condemn it. You know, concerning the fact that this has never happened before. The show of wealth, bundles of cash, they, they spray it like it's nothing. But come on, it's almost two weeks. <laughs> when are we going to talk about something else? <laughs> I don't know yet, that depends. On social media. Well, guys, let's listen to this caller. Yes, I'm here. Good morning. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yes, Nigeria at the moment is about capital or poverty. There are a lot of unemployment everywhere. There are a lot of people that are intelligent but cannot afford to go to school, cannot, uh, are not empowered. And you know, you keep throwing that kind of huge money on their face. How do you expect them to feel? At least, we, we should learn to respect our, our emotions sometimes. Is that everybody that has a spirit of contention? Seeing that kind of thing now will we, we trigger uh, criminality in, in some other people. All right, thank you very much. You don't, you so don't you, agree? I don't agree. The person that, I, I, honestly, if you've worked hard for your money, you shouldn't be, um, you shouldn't say that I, I, I'm not going to enjoy my life because there are people that are poor. You help substantially as much as possible but you cannot say you shouldn't do what you want to do because there's poverty poverty there will always be the poor amongst us but we must okay. do our yeah, own I, 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 I want to take well i know some people agree that you know bikubana you know held it down on social media in fact still holding it down i saw him in a new video 
All right, I told you guys, like, there's a lot of interviews you guys are still going to watch, a lot of things that's still going to come out. I started dating my wife when I was living in a one room. It wasn't even a one room. We were like four guys. We were actually like four guys staying inside one room without bed. The foam was on the floor. You know now? And I keep saying it. I met my wife when I was living in a one room. One room was called as Zone 4. Zone 4, we say in Abuja. You understand? So it wasn't about the money, but we were happy. We were happy. I married her when I was living in a three-bedroom flat in Gariki. We had our two children there. We were happy. You know what I'm trying to say? Some people are very rich. They do not have happiness. They can't find it. But the happiness that flows with it is that we have a woman who is ready to keep the home as peaceful as possible. Because peace brings about prosperity. Money does not keep marriage. Money does not keep marriage. But money makes marriage easier. Yes, granted. Okay? Uh -huh. So most of the divorce cases, you know, in fact, the, the richer you are, the, the more tendency of you to get divorced. That is basic. Women love attention. They love attention. This is my wife loves attention, though. Forget. She loves attention. Okay? You're doing like this. She lost attention. We dated, though. We dated. I think three years. How long? I think three years. So this should be like our 16th. This should be our like 16th or 17th year, I'm sure. Because I'm sure that uh, my daddy met you. And my daddy has been gone for 15 years. So it should be like 17. But you know, I see the sweet now. We don't go know how many years again. You can't be like saying like yesterday. You understand? We didn't know Obiku. How many people knew Obiku Bana? Yeah, he has some followings, you know, thousands of followers, a couple of thousands on, on social media, but it wasn't as much as um, uh, Kubana Chief Priest. Kubana Chief Priest was like very popular then on social media. They, everybody even thought he was the owner of um, the Kubana Club. Nobody really knew Obiku Bana. Until one day we woke up to see that, you know, Obi Kubana and uh, Kubana Chief Priest had issues and all that. And some people were like, that was even when some people knew that, okay, Obi Kubana Chief Priest is not even the owner of the uh, Kubana clubs. And the Kubana Chief Priest says here, yeah, my village people, they power for me. They say, if I know bring 46 goats, come back from Oba, make I know enter village again. They say the goat belongs to them. They say, make I know use their tradition play. Well, that's funny because he donated 46 um, cows. Here we have Big Bird himself, um, Sean Kuti. And he said that the unity uh, we lack in Nigeria is unity between the rich and the poor. Let me know if you agree. Let's watch. Everybody talks about unity in Nigeria. Yoruba unites with Igbo. Igbo unites with this. This unites with that. But the truth is that the unity in Nigeria, the only unity we lack in this country, is the rich uniting with the poor. When we reach Nigerians, unite with poor Nigerians. That's the lacking, that's the unity that we lack here. So, when will the rich unite with the poor? Okay guys, that is it. Still the show of wealth, right? This is uh, a video of a traditional ruler and a priest. Now the traditional ruler was seen spraying money on that priest, you know, um, publicly. Let's watch. <laughs> Why some people are talking about this particular video? It is because of a Biko banner. In case you don't know. Well, that is it about Obi Kubana. Um, let us move straight to the next one. Guys, I just want to share this video, video of this guy Tosin Silver with you about Nengi getting herself a new car. Nengi announced that she bought a new whip, a new Range Rover, white one today but then and i remembered that on her birthday her fans caught her a range rover as well black range rover uh, uh, if i'm not mistaken now yes now 
This is the range of the gods on a bed day now. Abi, ah, ah. Okay, wait. See, Negi Pengi, do you guys remember? Let me show you. Let me zoom. They even customized the car with Negi Pengi. Now I am confused too. Now, she said she bought a new Range Rover white, and I'm confused. Ah. Can someone use white and black Range Rover, two Range Rovers together? Because me, I don't understand though. I am confused, me. Oh, did she change the color? To, ah, I said, I don't, I don't even believe anything on this social media. As in, eh? <laughs> What's put me up, me? Oh, the fans didn't buy the car, me. See, eh? Ah, it is well. It is well. Okay, so much for that. We have a lady here. You know, we reported, um, I remember in the, one of the previous videos, we um, talked about EFCC breaking into hotels to arrest people, whether they are naked or not, it's none of their business. They do whatever they want to do, whether they've got females with them naked or not, they still arrest whoever they want to arrest. So here is a lady confirming that and also sharing a story alongside that. That is how I slept in a hotel whilst filming last week. Next thing, I opened my eyes at a little past 3 a.m. What did I see? Swipe to read. Two men dressed in black with weapons. I thought I was dreaming. Then I heard the door to my room close. I sprang up and without thinking shouted, Stay right there. Who are you? They replied, We are EFCC. My head sparked. Are you kidding me? You enter into my room unannounced, EFCC. Madam, we knocked, but no response. You decide to enter my room. You should have kept knocking. I was sleeping like any normal person would. Where is the man of the room? I first confused. The woo. He replied, your partner. Anger well up inside me. Is this one roving mad? His partner realized it's folly because he quickly apologized. You are not who we are looking for. I watched as they interviewed guests rudely and arrested a few. They knew the people they were after. I lost sleep afterwards. Then I heard this is the new thing with EFCC. They just burst into hotel rooms in the middle of the night, not caring who you are or in what state you are. You are. I mean, the hotel is a really decent hotel, so I couldn't understand how this could happen. Well, guys, that is it. We've heard about that like multiple times, so I'm not really surprised. Here we have a letter, right? Robbers dropped a letter to notify this resident of a particular place in Abuja. And you can see it reads, this is to inform you that we are coming for an operation very soon in this area can you imagine the boldness by by this letter you are direct they even typed it they didn't write it they, they typed it you are directed to have at least hundred thousand naira uh naira ready to make it easy for us or you face a their consequence um if you like call police or army nobody can stop us the he even put his nickname the arch they put it business of pressure. What is this country turning into? And they will tell you boldly. We've heard the bandits say the same thing. Oh, call the police or army. They, they will do nothing. Now the, the thieves are doing this as well. well robbers. May God save us. And they put it there. Hello, friends. <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Well, let us calm our nerves with this. Here's when Pater Rankin surprised his brother and his wife on their wedding day by you know inviting davido to their wedding let's watch this okay guys this is this is show of love though a nigerian pastor identified as oluwa sheon alabi has used his money to renovate a mosque building in ikiri Oshun state the building which was built 60 years ago now wears a new look with beautiful painting roof from windows borehole among other things this is uh, humanity at this big a pastor actually did that that's love though Guys, let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. Remember, Bol and Leah and the husband, the estranged husband, right? You understand the drama going on on social media about this couple. And I also remember talking about this guy having um, a wife, according to him, in the SA, that's South Africa. 
he finally posted the the video of the wife can you imagine that like, guys posted video of both of them doing lovey dovey <laughs> guys let's watch this baby where's your boarding pass uh, yeah where's your boarding pass <laughs> and he was interviewed after that right and he admits is guilty of domestic violence but he says this girl the the estranged wife started it that she hit him first now guys we're still expecting you know words or some kind of reaction from bolanli herself she's been silent about this on social media note before now nobody knew about this guy we only know bolanli now he's in the picture and bolanli that's got this attention before now is not even talking not reacting hopefully in the future this particular lady will interview her because she likes interview interviewing both parties so hopefully um she reach out to bolanli and if that's if bolanli is willing to talk they are saying i they are saying i used to be bolanli before can you hear me before can you hear me bolanli, yeah. bolanli used to beat me i didn't used to touch her before you have evidence <laughs> I have evidence. There was a time. There was a time in Accra. Oh no! There was a time in Accra. She go and carry knife and everything. I send it to her, to a junior sister. Knife. That is how she used to do in Accra in Ghana. I have a video mm -hmm. where she broke my 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 eyebrow one time like that. Before I started mm -hmm. facing my aunt, she's the one that I don't used to touch her before. There was a time she would be like a man. Fighting me like a man. I haven't seen such before in my life. And I asked BJ if there has any, ever been any physical altercation between you and Bolanli, if you've ever raised your hand on her. And BJ said that you've done that many times. Uh, really? Many times. Not once, not twice, not three okay. times, not four times, not five times. Yes. So is BJ lying? <laughs> As we're waiting for BJ, some, some ladies came online and said that there was a time that you... You took scissors or you caught Bolanli's Dior shoe. Is that true? Um, yes, yeah, there are so many things that uh, happened before we get to that point. Okay, speaking about people talking and uh, speaking their mind, here is a lady that was beaten because of a movie. You know, they said she should um, pull down the movie, that she should remove the movie. I think on social media or somewhere she posts the, the movie. Her name is... Um, Ivan Okoro. Uh, guys, let's watch this video. Guys, my life is in danger. I am very, very scared right now. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do right now. I'm at the police station. They want to kill me. Some group of boys from Bigo, some group of people from Bigo, they, they, are, they want to end my life for nothing. They want to end my life for nothing. Look at what they did to me. They asked me to bring down my movie or else they will terminate my life. Thank God I escaped from them. My life is in danger. I need you guys. Where are my Nollywood people? Where are my fellow Nigerians? I don't want to die. They want to kill me. <laughs> I need your help. Not when I will die tomorrow and I will see my posters everywhere. They will be tagging rest in peace. I don't know where to go from here. I don't know who to run to. I am very scared right now. They want to kill me because of a movie that I shot. A movie. A movie. A movie. Hi everyone, a lot of people are saying that I should pull down the movie. This movie is my evidence. I was accused of shooting a porn. They wrote to Bigo Authority that I shot a movie that is against their community guideline. So now this movie is out and they've seen that this movie is not what they thought. The title of my movie is Bigo Madness. Please, I want you guys to watch this movie. If I put this Move it down now. Now they will have. Ev they will, in fact, I will not have evidence to f to, to, to fight these people. This this movie right now is my evidence. I can't pull it down. I was accused of shooting a porn. My movie is not porn. I only shoot comedy films. 
Bigo madness is not porn. I shot this film to tell the Nigerians a lot of unemployed Nigerians are, are looking for jobs. Through this bigo, they can they will survive because they are making a lot of money on it. Okay, guys, this is so sad. Let me quickly read this. Three Nigerian mi migrants die after jumping from windows of 10-story building to escape fire in France. You know, it saddens my heart when I see Nigerians go through things like this. You know, can you imagine, you know, leaving your country for greener pasture? And while you're hustling, you die along the line. You're like, you die in line of duty. Uh, that's what I call it because you're there to really, you know, hustle and send money back home for your family so that they can survive on the, you know, the little you spend. And also, maybe if you want to invest or um, do something in the country, you can do it just for survival. And they die along the line. It's so sad, guys. Let's watch this. Good morning, the Nigeria and Marcel. Please, we have an incident here today that much Nigerians died. So we are here to cover the incident and send to our embassy to let them know what we are facing here in Marcel. So one of our brother here is living in the house that the, uh, have the problem here. So he wants to tell us what really happened. So my brother, please, can you tell us what happened? For the incident. Uh, what happened? I'm waiting and not videos as in where I have known and my brother come in when I sleep. Shout my name. I said, just wake up. The next thing I open door. Now be the smoke. To enter inside back and not fit again. I can't track. Enter inside. The only thing when I fit take away your name and I be my phone. So I go down the floor five. I need to follow my window. I can't enter another apartment and that window the lock I need I can't hang for the window now. People did that. Can you hang where they say no jump, no jump? I mean, I mean, I they say no jump. I mean, they say no jump, no jump, no jump. Inside there, now I see person they fall down. And my brother, no sir, I see that one fall down. The next they tell me say that one don't die. Another one fall again. They say that one don't die. They call the poop foam now in case I because we are midday now. Now we are on day safe. Before they call the call pompier, one of those one come now. They call the user this they uh this thing tell the people down. down. The people now with boss has now take come down. Now yeah, some of my brother has not give me nika, give me brother. shirt. Man, we we sit there here. We have police come now, nothing where they do. We sit there now, the next thing, others are from up, go the throw bottle. They give, they give us. Now. Yeah, no all of us now, Nigerians come gather. But the ones we're not there yet, we can't pursue them. Now that one can't cause police, they look them. They don't do anything. Police don't do anything. Now, when they come make Nigerians now converse, when they tell they block all this road, when they come mobilize, they come again now. Police be not many rich like this before. But uh, what I want to ask now, what really caused the problem? We don't know. As at, uh, let me just say, later while yesterday, as at 2 o'clock, my brother woke me up. He said there's a problem. I should come and listen. I said, what? What I was hearing, noise. Then Arabu, Arabu, the next day I said, okay, you hold this knife, let me hold this knife. We open the door, there's no noise again. I said, we cannot descend down. Let's go back inside. Because it's maybe all these people, they may just hide in one place. Yeah, they wait. He said, bro, all these people, I believe they will come back. I said, no, don't worry, they cannot bust this my door. If they want to come, they cannot bust my door. Let's just relax. The same my that same my brother is the one that woke me up this morning again. We don't die so no okay. So that is all I know. So we all are confused. We don't know what to do. Because the way they take us in this country, most no. especially this Marseille. Yeah. I don't know what government, is happening. Government and Nigeria they need to do something about this. Eh? And so that is all, bro. Okay. We go from area that is it right there here we have the uniben students who posted on social media funny enough progressive my practice bought me this file something that's what she she posted your final year you done that you know done with school how would you feel if you get a letter from the school saying hey you have to go back to 200 level and start again you have to start again from 200 level because of 
your stupidity on social media. Uh, again, some people say she should take them to court. Yeah, she can. If she have the money, she can take them to court. But you know, this is social media a platform that gets you money if you use it wisely, and it can also get you bad luck if you're stupid with it. Anyways, guys, moving on to the next news. Um, South Africans faces food shortages following last week mass looting. Are you surprised? Are you? Because I'm not too. South Africans have used their own hands to cause that pain that they've been looking for for so long. They've been looking for that pain, that hunger. They, they, that's it. I, I just feel sad for the innocent ones who were there and didn't involve in the whole crime and all that, going through the same thing done by some touts, you know, on the street. Sad. Let's watch this video. Well, that is it, guys. Let us quickly move straight to today's question. Today's question. I have two questions today, by the way. The first one, why do men cook faster than women? That's one. Number two is tell us what that song you can sing from start to finish without missing a single lyric. Let's go. Leave that in the comment section below. Uh, at least if you can't answer first question, you should be able to answer second question or answer both. Well, <laughs> guys, uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're yet to do so. And we'll see you next time. Peace.